Hello, this is Toho from Trifle Productions with another Blender Quickie. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a tire low poly really easy in Blender without any problem. But before I start, I would like to say Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you guys had a great and safe New Year celebration and a great 2020 to everyone. And have a good time. And also, let's get this tutorial started. Let's get this tutorial started. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, let's press delete to get rid of this cube. And then shift A. From the pop-up menu, let's go down to Taurus. Click on that. Three on, on our keyboard to get it from the side view, or see it from the side view. And to zoom in, just scroll up on your mouse wheel. Uh, we want to make this look as much as a tire, look as much as a tire as possible. So let's press tab and make it a little bit thicker. Hold down Alt, left click. We want to choose this set of vertices at the top. And the next thing we're going to do is click on the proportional editing icon. Click on that. And we're going to press S. And we're going to zoom up or drag up with our mouse to increase or decrease the influence of the proportional editing. You just have to scroll up in your mouse wheel to reduce the influence and scroll down to increase it. And we're going to scroll down. And we're going to scroll, we're going to move our mouse up a little bit. Scroll down again. And then one more time and press tab or, or left click to accept that change. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom set of vertices. Alt again, left click, and S. The same thing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, drag our mouse up a little bit and drag it down or down a little bit the mouse. And then that looks good there somewhat. Yeah, that's it. And then left click. And then tab again to get out of edit mode. Now the next thing we want to do, we want to make the uh, torus a little bit thicker so it can look more like a tire. So press S and Z on your keyboard and then take your mouse and drag your mouse up. Physically move the mouse up or down or whatever way you can move your mouse to get this thicker. A left click to accept that change and it looks like a tire. All right, send again. Uh, go in the top view, and now we're going to go into the UV editor to uh, set up our UV texture. So to do that, go up to this tab here, UV editing, and left click on that. And let's press seven. We want to get the top portion or the top view of our tires. Press seven on our keyboard, and then from here, press A twice to deselect because that was selected at the bottom. And then that deselects it. Suddenly again, press A to select the whole thing one more time. We need this whole mesh to be selected. And then this window, we're going to drag this over in order to drag this over to see more of our options. Hover your mouse over this area, and then we're going to scroll with our middle mouse wheel up and down, left and right. That makes it go left and right. And we're going to click on New. And then for the name of our UV texture, we'll click on that, let's change that to tire, and you know that's the best option to go with because we're creating a tire texture. Enter. And then for the generated background, we're going to click on UV grid so we can see. Uh, the grid actually helps us when it comes to laying down the texture visually because it's a very good visual representation of how the texture is going to be laid out. And these two things are important. In Blender, for some reason, you have to save your image twice. You have to save the grid and save the image also if you don't. If we were to just save this, click File, File, then Save, and we opened up Blender again, you wouldn't see anything at all, here at all. What I mean by that is, let's click on You. And then we're going to go down to Project from View from the, the uh, pop-up menu. And then from this, our grid here, let's press A to select this whole mesh and scale up. Let's turn off our proportional editing first, S to scale up. And then we want to make sure that that uh, layout fills out the grid properly from end to end. So let's left click to accept that change. Now, if we were to press File and Save at this point and open up Blender again, this would disappear. This wouldn't be here anymore for some reason. I don't know why that is, but that's just how Blender works. So in order to avoid frustration, frustration and frustrating yourself, this is what you have to do. Click on Image and go to Save As. Now for myself, I've, this is like the 10th time I've done this tutorial. I've redone it. 
So I already have this file set up. So I set up a file, a folder. I've set mine up on my desktop. So set up your folder. And I'm going to save it as tire PNG, save as image. And the second step is UV, export UV as layout. Go to that same folder. And I'm going to click on the, that name of that file because I want to change this to tire UV layout just for the sake of simplicity. Tire UV lay out. Enter. And once that's been accepted, now if you press file and save, this will appear. That's that's how you can avoid frustration. So as I mentioned before, if you do not do those two steps and you save it as it is, you're going to use your you, you're going to lose your UV layout. Now the next step is that we're going to go into Photoshop. If you use GIMP, use whatever photo editing software you use, open that up. I use Photoshop. And this step is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're just going to lay one image on top of the, another. And that's going to be laying the UV layout on top of a tire image. Okay, I might take, and this process, like I said before, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but this process helps with keeping the vert count down, the vert count down on your mesh or your models. So if you want to animate it to import it to a game, it's, it'll work a lot easier, a lot better. There won't be much lag or any lag at all. Now from here, I'm going to open up the folder where I've saved that UV layout. And you want to import the UV layout, not the grid. This is what you want to import into Blender or into Photoshop by me. So left click and drag that over. <coughs> Excuse me. Let that open up. And I've got a tire here. Uh, image of a tire and I'll leave a link of this in the description below this video. So I'm going to do the same process. Hold down your left mouse button and drag it over and let that open up. And we're going to accept that by clicking that check mark. And we want the UV uh, layout to be on top of the tire image. So we're going to hold down. I don't know how it's done in Git, but this is how you do it in Photoshop. You just hold down your left mouse button over the tire image and drag it below the UV layout and there it is. And we're going to click on the UV layout. We want to manipulate or change the uh, layout of our UV layout so to speak on top of the tires. We want the UV layout to match as close as possible to the tire as close as possible. In order to do that press Control T and this um, square deal comes up. I guess it's like a manipulator grid manipulator. I'm going to hold down control or shift actually and left mouse button and drag up. I want to get this as close as possible to the image of the tire in the background. So I'm going to keep pulling these little points here until everything lays out evenly between the UV layout and the image of the tire and, and then that's it. And then press that checkbox. And we, you can delete this or just hide it because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Save As. And you want to save it in the same format as the UV layout, which is the PNG. So click on that, click on PNG, and save it in the same folder. And give it a different name, so to speak. I'm going to name this text so I can differentiate it between the UV layouts. Okay, TEX, and click on Save. And OK. And it's going to save it right now. Get this done. Let's close out Photoshop. No thanks. And we're going to import that UV texture into Blender. And in order to do that, we're going to go to layout, change the layout back to the original generic layout of Blender, which is this. And we're going to take our cursor and hover it over this little edge here. And when this crosshairs come up, hold on your left mouse button and just drag it down. All right, and then we're going to go to this little icon, click on that, and go to Shader Editor. And we're going to set up our texture by going to this part of Blender, of the user interface window of Blender, and click on this icon. Click on New, and this uh, node set up pops up. And we're going to rename this from Material to Tire Texture. This is always, it's always a good. Um, practice to rename your textures that we can keep track of them. Okay, and then to move the window around like this, hold down your 
middle mouse button and just drag your mouse around. And we're going to click on that. We're going to activate the Node Wrangler in order to do that to make sure your Node Wrangler is actually activated. Click on Edit, Preferences, and then we're going to go into the search window here, search box, click on that, and type in Node. And make sure that this checkbox is activated. Okay, let's close that out, mine is. And make sure that before you press Control T, we did the keyboard shortcut for the Node Wrangler, make sure that there's a white uh, line around this node by clicking on it. It activates, activates the white line, as you can see. Click, click. There you go. And then press Control T, and then the Node Wrangler comes up. G to grab and drag it up. And we're going to change this from point to texture. And then we're going to click on open. And I'm going to go to where I saved that GV layout texture. And here it is. I'm going to double click on that. And in order to see what it's what has happened, let's go to the viewport shader and change it. Click on this little icon and change it to look death. Click on that. And you can see that the tire texture is there, but it's not laying the way we want it to. We want the rim to not be seen and just the tire part to be seen. In order to do that, just go back to the UV editor, click on this little icon here, this little tab, and let's change this back. And we have to scroll with your mouse, the mouse button to go from left to right with the uh, options at the top. And click on Look Dev. We can see it. Scroll up on your mouse wheel to zoom in. And then from here, what we're wanting to do is we want to select this inner part of the mesh here. So just click Alt, hold down Alt, left click. And want to turn off the partial editing, so click on that and press S. And let's remember if you scroll down, that reduces the influence of the partial editing. And let's pull up with our mouse. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And left click. In order to see what we've done, let's let me see. Let's press Tab. And there's the tire, but it looks kind of stretched out. We want to make sure we see those treads come through at the top. Let's press 7 again. And then Tab. And then S again, and let's see what we, if we can get those treads at the top to show. Some that's the thing with 3D in general; it's just a lot of, a lot of trial and error, sometimes. Okay, so we can see the treads come through, and that looks that looks pretty good. Let's left click to select that change, and tab again, and yeah, there it is. There's your tire, and you can adjust the way it looks once again by, you know process that we did in the uh, grid layout and the good thing about this is that you can actually see the treads are going from one end of the mesh to the other which is what we're looking for so that's that's something that is helpful because when you're doing this in terms of applying this to a vehicle in a game engine I mean you're not zooming in on the tire at all you're just looking at the tire from a distance so you can just pretty much have the tire let me see, Z, have the tire there rolling, spinning as the car is moving, and you can see people can actually make it, have it actually look like a tire, because it looks like a tire from a distance. So that's pretty much how you can make a tire in Blender the easy way. You can still adjust the texture in the viewport by pressing Tab and S again, and, you know, just scaling it according to how you want it to look. I'm like kind of a, I don't want to say perfectionist, but I just like things to look good just in general. But yeah, but that's how you can make a tire in Blender the easy way. And hopefully this uh, tutorial helps someone out there, help you learn something from it. And once again, you guys have a great year. Have a great time. Have a great life. And I will see you guys on the next one. And once again, I appreciate you guys for subscribing. And the ones the people who will subscribe in the future, appreciate you guys too. And I really thank you guys for your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.